So today, I'm going to go over something that isn't necessarily built into 123D design functionality, but that's creating a helix. Um, there is a kind of uh, a weird way to kind of go about making a helix within the software, but there's not really any type of hard functionality built into the, into the software to make them. So first, we're going to import a torus, which under primitives, it's the shape that looks like a donut or an inner tube. And you can create this whatever size that you want. Uh, for right now, I'm just going to import the default size. So the first thing we need to do is cut this in half using the split solid tool. Um, I went over a good use of the split solid tool in creating details in your designs in another video, so go check that out if you're interested. Um, but right now, I'm just going to go through it real quick and quickly make a plane rotate it, and then use it to cut the solid. Okay, so now that we have the two halves created here, all we're essentially going to do is rotate each one in opposite directions. And this is going to create one rotation of a link or a, uh, of a spiral within the, the helix. So let's grab this one, transform, and we're going to rotate it on this axis about 15 degrees. Now we take the other one, Go to transform and do the exact same thing but in the opposite direction. Okay, now we're going to go up and use a tool that I haven't showed yet, which is the snap tool. And this basically just mates parts up next to each other uh, when you select their surfaces. So we're going to go to snap, click on this circular surface here, and then right after that, click on this surface here. So now you can see that we have one rotation of the helix. And it's not perfect. We can see that one side is straight uh, of the helix, or at least both sides are. So this is going to get magnified as, as we either create um, steeper inclines within the helix, or we add more, uh, add more spirals into it. So to make this easy to copy, we're going to go up to Combine, Merge, and we're going to click on each one of these. So one is target solid mesh, which is the first one, and the second one is source solid mesh. And after that, you can see that the whole thing can be selected at once, instead of the two halves like before. So we're going to copy by clicking the object, doing Control c Control v and that'll allow us to copy it and move it up. Now we're going to do the same thing as before and snap this surface onto this one. So the more that you do that, the longer the spiral or helix you can make. And each time, uh, it gets quicker and quicker because now you can just select the whole thing, go to uh, Combine, Merge, and click both of these. And now, like I said, Control c Control v now you can move the whole thing and it gets longer and longer the, uh, the more you make it and the more that you uh, combine it together. So I really hope this helped. Uh, this might not have been something that you've even considered in, in 123D design, but um, when making different models, if you need to use a spring or something, this is probably the easiest. And um, to me, so far, this is the only way that I know to make it. So if you have another method that you know of, please uh, leave it in the comments. Um, I would love to hear it, and I would love to show other people in another tutorial video. Um, and if you have another request for another video, please let me know and I'd be happy to uh, put one together.